right, today I am super pumped. I am incredibly excited. These are, in my opinion, the three best 35 footers for blue water sailing, coastal cruising, or island hopping for less than $100,000. If it was up to me and I had the cash right now, I would absolutely buy one of these in a heartbeat. First up, we have the Beneteau Oceanus 35. Now, when this came out in 2014, they actually had some incredibly innovative designs. Now, some people don't like them, some people do. However, what they did is they made a completely removable front bulkhead. So you can have an entire open interior while at the dock, and you can replace the bulkhead when you're getting ready to sail if you choose to do so. A lot of people looked at that like, oh my gosh, this looks too much like Ikea. I love Ikea looking boats, but that's just me and it comes down to what you like the best. She does come in with a length of the waterline of 31.82, a length overall of 32.78, and a beam of 12.14 with a maximum draft of 6.07 feet. However, it does depend heavily on which configuration you get as the Oceanus 35 is available with a lifting keel, a shoal draft, or the deep draft. Now, as mentioned previously, it does come in a few different varieties. There is the day sailor version. Now, this is just the wide open floating apartment loft looking thing. This one is meant for exactly that, just day sailing. Very open inside, generous space, wide open companionway that opens into a single large area. Then we have the Weekender version. Now this is what they call an evolving yacht. This version offers a choice of layout with either two or three cabins. There's also an open or closed cabin version, separate shower compartment, fitted galley, extra indoor outdoor table, helm seats, and many, many more options. This one you can really, really customize. Even if you purchase one that is already set up a certain way, it's easy to change the layout of these as a lot of the components inside are easily movable. Then up next we have the cruiser version. Now this is much, much closer to your traditional cruising style vessel. This has two or three cabin layout with bulk headed separate cabins. However, you can always still remove the bulkheads. It's incredibly easy, so it's a nice additional feature if you're gonna be in one area for a long time. Now, often when we're sailing, that's exactly what happens. We do a longer trip, let's say an Atlantic crossing for 19 or 21 days. Then we hit somewhere and we hang out for a while in an anchorage with this style vessel you could completely open up your interior cockpit while you're in that area and completely change your vessel then just put back in the bulkheads and boom you're ready to hit your next ocean and get to sailing again so which one you choose is completely up to you but this is probably like i said my favorite 35 footer on the market hands down currently used they can be had for around a hundred thousand you can now become a producer on chasing latitude videos now to help me continue to make these videos a donation of a hundred dollars will get you producer status you do get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me included with the hundred dollars as well as you will be listed at the end of each video as a producer you also get access for a year to our members area it's an absolutely phenomenal package that is an incredible value now if that's a little bit too much for the bank account I completely understand but you can join my patron to help support Support the videos for only ten dollars a month you do get access to the members area so it's a fantastic bargain and there are several hundred members over on our members area that are all in various aspects of either purchasing a vessel taking sailing lessons or getting ready to get on the water full time but consider becoming a producer it would sure help me a lot and i would love to have you on board Up next, we have the Bavaria 34 Cruiser. Now, when I say Bavaria 34, I'm referring to the 2013 or later model. It is still in production today. Now, in 2018, it did win Cruising World's Boat of the Year Pocket Cruiser. It comes in with an overall length of 32 feet, 10 inches, a hull length of 32 feet, a waterline length of 30 feet, and a beam of 11.2 feet. Also with a maximum draft of 6.7 feet. She does come in the two or three cabin version. However, if you do go with the three cabin version, you are limited to two small lockers aft as far as storage goes. If choosing this one, in my opinion, you should absolutely only go with the two cabin version. 
Now, it's obviously not as customizable or as wide open as the previous Oceanus 35, so this is really going to be a personal preference. When it comes down to sailing performance, they are both very similar, as are all three on the video today. Now, the Bavaria 34 replaces the company's previous 33 footer and it adds a bit of a shorter profile on the vessel. It is a foam core sandwich hull where the deck and the hull are infused. That makes for a lighter structure, allowing the vessel to stay with a lightweight displacement under 12,000 pounds. This is the first line in Bavaria's models where it is infused that way, and after this, several other models did follow. It's a deck step Selden rig where the sail plan is relatively simple. It has a traditional Dacron mainsail, lazy jacks, and a sail bag. However, there was an in-mast furling that was optional. Now, as always, Bavaria does make fantastic use of the interior space available, leaving no cranny or nook unused. As you can see here with a fantastic L-shaped galley with a double sink. If you move into the main salon, it has plenty of light and is very, very wide open thanks to their panoramic windows. It really adds a feeling of openness inside of the vessel. Now, if you move on to the head, you do get a stand-up shower, which is not as common as you would think or would like it to be on vessels of this size. One feature that is absolutely mind-blowing to me is this vessel is actually available in a dual or a single helm. Now, I know a lot of vessels are available with a tiller or a single helm, but Bavaria really outdid themselves here. Being able to get this vessel in a dual or a single helm to me is absolutely mind-blowing and only adds to the fantastic quality of Bavaria yachts. I do want to take just a quick second and point out that I do have a discount code linked below in the description as well as the comments for an American Sailing Association membership. Now you can get it for $49 instead of $59. Once you're an American Sailing Association member, look at all the discounts that you get. You get discounts to CETO, Precision Sales, and many, many more. The American Sailing Association membership will pay for itself almost instantly. I suggest going and getting yourself an ASA membership right now and let me know all about it in the comments below. The Juno Sun Odyssey 349. I would buy this boat right now today if I could afford it. However, YouTube doesn't pay me enough. I'm broke as shit. Now, this does have a category rating, the CE rating of A. What A means is it covers largely self-sufficient boats designed for extended voyages with winds over the Beaufort Force 8 scale. That means winds over 40 knots and significant wave heights above 13 feet. Now this obviously excludes abnormal conditions, so you don't want to go and sail this into a hurricane. Not a great idea. Now this does come with a two cabin one head version or a three cabin one head. You can also get it with fox, woodwork teak, or a gray cedar color on the interior. It does come in the deep draft keel version, a shoal draft keel version, and a lifting keel version. This boat is absolutely phenomenal. There's actually a YouTube couple currently circumnavigating the globe on this vessel. So for all you lovely people that are about to hop in the comments and try to tell me this is only a coastal cruiser, you ladies and gentlemen are incorrect. It is not only a coastal cruiser. It will absolutely cross oceans and get you anywhere that you want to go. Now, it does come in with a Length of the waterline at just under 31 feet and a length overall with just under 34 feet. Also has a beam of 11.29. It does have a fuel tank of 34 gallons and it has a water tank of 54 gallons. Now in reality, that is fantastic amount of tank storage for a vessel this size. Again, it's only length over the waterline at under 34 feet. I'd be hard pressed to find another vessel that comes standard with that kind of tankage. Add a water maker, some solar, you have yourself a a fantastic coastal cruiser, island hopper, and a vessel that can grow with you over time and get you across the oceans. It also boasts a foldable swim platform. Now, a lot of people always try to make fun of these, but the reality is, as we get older, we are not as mobile as we were when we were younger. We also have older family and friends, mom, dad, aunts, uncles. So the foldable swim platform is fantastic. It allows for easy access into and out of the boat 
at the dock as well as at the water. So access into and out of your dinghy. Now, if you're ever going to be sailing on a budget, you'll be staying at anchor or in a mooring field a lot of the time. So access into and out of your dinghy with ease is of the utmost importance for comfort. This also does boast a dual helm. Another thing you're going to hear armchair sailors that are stuck in the 80s, you don't need a dual helm. You don't need a sailboat either, you potato. However, a dual helm is fantastic. What a dual helm does is it opens up the cockpit. You have a very large outdoor living space. Now, if you create a hard top dodger and enclose a bimini, you've just recreated a Florida room, an Arizona room, whatever they call them, just a giant outdoor living space for you and friends, have guests over, be outside, and if it starts to rain, you can still sit outside in your enclosed cockpit. It is a fantastic feature. This vessel is easily solo sailed based on the layout of the vessel. That dual helm cockpit is absolutely huge compared to single helm vessels. I personally love dual helm and I would go with a single helm, but the reality is I'd be much, much happier with a dual helm just based on the amount of room it gives me. It gives me basically another cabin, but outdoors. Enclose it like I said, and it is absolutely fantastic. These are coming in right now on the used market at just under 100k. There's obviously several listed at over 100k, but there's actually one here in the Caribbean listed at just under 99 base what vessel you buy on what type of sailing you're realistically going to be doing, not what other people say. Now, if you do enjoy these videos, please, please leave a comment down below. It helps tremendously the YouTube algorithm. You can now become a producer on Chasing Latitudes videos. Now, to help me continue to make these videos, a donation of $100 will get you producer status. You do get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me included with the $100, as well as you will be listed at the end of each video as as a producer. You also get access for a year to our members area. It's an absolutely phenomenal package that is an incredible value. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand, but you can join my patron to help support the videos. For only $10 a month, you do get access to the members area, so it's a fantastic bargain. And there are several hundred members over on our members area that are all in various aspects of either purchasing a vessel, taking sailing lessons, or getting ready to get on the water full time. But consider becoming a producer. It would sure help me a lot and I would love to have you on board.